Hello everybody, this is Eric Navas and we're going to continue another video for this channel, Star Hammer and Misk. So in this video, I'm going to talk about something that's been asked before, but as far as I know, and please correct me if I'm wrong or link down in the comment section, there's been no video explicitly talking about what is Star Wars exactly. So everybody heard has heard at least once what Star Wars is. There's a very small percentage who don't, and it's probably because, don't call me on this, it's probably because they live in isolated areas. So, because if you Google Star Wars, you know, it's created by George Lucas, space opera, sci-fi franchise. But what is Star Wars exactly like in universe? For me, this is the way I would put it. And, and you know, this is, I guess you can say my opinion slash perspective. For me, Star Wars, it's about a galaxy far, far away in this universe where the force, the energy that binds all things and yes, I'm paraphrasing and referencing what Luke Skywalker said in The Last Jedi you know, regarding the Force that binds all things and how the Force tries to really keep balance within the universe. And in Star Wars, you see throughout the series from the Old Republic to now the sequels and how people, humans, humans and creatures alike, how they would either like, like the Sith would try to destroy that balance of the force. Whereas there's those who are, are like Jedi try to maintain that balance but may not know exactly what that really means, let alone how to maintain that balance. Because with the Jedi, what they try to do, do is destroy the dark and let the light dominate. But that's not balance. Because balance, you need both sides of the coin. You need the light and dark. The Jedi's understanding is if you destroy the darkness and the light wins, then you have balance. But that's not balance. And for the Sith, you know, for Sith, they tried to destroy that balance, literally. Mm. Balance by accomplishing their own goals, their own personal agenda. Exercising evil in the world and making evil like the epitome of the universe and so what we have to understand about the force is that the force is really a neutral thing neutral thing and everything happens in the star wars universe regarding what's what we consider good or evil it's really based on perspective right and because the force is just really neutral it's just energy so what we consider good or bad is really just a reflection of one's personality it reveals one's true self what it reveals one's inner heart, so to speak, the force, right? And to be honestly, right, you probably see this before, you know, the Jedi code, the Sith code. And that's how the Jedi and the Sith understand the force. But the thing is, the, f the, the force did not create these codes. These codes were created by people. And if people created those codes, that shows their knowledge 
of their force, their understanding. But if you really, really meditate, meditate on this and give it a lot of thought, you come to realize that how limited one's understanding is if they abide by this code. But the force is not limited by a code. Okay. If anything, what ends up happening is that it really ends up making one, in a subtle way, become very narrow-minded about what the force really is. They end up seeing the force in like a certain perspective. In actuality, one really should be open-minded about the force. And just let the force guide them, like what Qui Gon Jinn does. And that's what Qui Gon Jinn realizes that oh, there has to be balance. There has to be light and dark. You have to let the force do its thing. That you shouldn't be bounded by a code or by what society tells you. And that's and that's why I personally think that Qui Gon Jinn is one of the best Jedi, not so much, not in regards to combat, but in regards to who he is as a person. And I have nothing but respect for Qui-Gon Engine, because that's the person he is. So he was never bounded by a single code, he just let the Force, you know, guide his way in the universe. And that's something Luke Skywalker also comes to realize, that, you know, just letting the Force, you know, do its thing. And not just binding by a single code. Call it over society tells them. And essentially that's what Star Wars is. The whole. The force is really trying to keep balance everything. But someone is always messing that balance up. Right. Goes back to early beginnings with the Jedi. Then the creation of the Sith. And the Jedi. So originally there was that balance with the Jedi, but then they wanted to focus more on the light, and then those who focused on the light became the Jedi, and those who focused more on the dark became the Sith. Yeah, and that's how I feel like ever since that first schism, that's when the whole balance has been thrown off, and that's when the Force has tried for thousands of years to try to restore that balance again from the first schism to the old republic to you know to the skywalker saga the the prequels original trilogy and the sequels yeah so at the end of the day when you look at you really pay attention to the movies as well as expanding universe and you don't have to look at the expanded universe to really see things in diff to play devil's advocate, but it does help a lot. You really see that you know what is considered good versus considered bad is based on perspective. Except when the original trilogy first came out, it just it was intended to be you know Empire is bad and Rebels is good, but now with all the sequels and prequels that came out. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. You really see that maybe that's not the case. That's not. You come to learn that. It's not black and white like that. And there's another sci-fi series called. Legend of Galactic Heroes that really explores this. In a very interesting way. Which I'll talk about that in another video. Because I feel like that series itself is a very underrated series. As well as Warhammer 40k, where it's they take that to I guess an extreme levels, everything's over the top. But yes, in Warhammer 40k, there's no such thing as good guy slash bad guys. It's just it's just everyone doing their own thing. So at the end of the day, this is my perspective of what Star Wars is. It is where the balance of the Force is lost, and how the Force just tries to bring balance again. In this case, I believe that the Force is using people to try to bring that balance together, whether the person realizes or not, you know. You know. 
as far as like as I mentioned earlier, as far as what's good or evil, that's the force is not good or bad. The force is just neutral. It's the it's the question and matter of how someone uses the force. Would they use that force for good or use it for bad? And the force abilities is just a reflection of one's personality. So that's my summary class synthesis of what the force is. Right. Now, do you agree or disagree? Now, leave your opinions down in the comment section below. And until next time, peace.